let me just show you the scenery here first the beach the harbor of one of the Cumbrian towns where we live it looks beautiful and you just want to come to this beach and enjoy the scenery, enjoy the sea, enjoy the view but there is something in the atmosphere it's just not as beautiful as it used to be it's just not as healthy if you like as it used to be you just don't feel the same it just don't feel right all because of what all these globalists greedy globalists have in their agenda you have your own beach you have your own mountains you have your own sceneries wherever you are in whatever country you live in and you want to enjoy them some of the countries more restricted than the others you can't even get out of your own house it's ridiculous and the sad thing is Christians are more burdened and troubled by Christians not standing their grounds if we are the light of the earth light of the world salt of the earth and we are not doing what we are supposed to do then what hope do we have from the people in the world that we call them worldly now I showed you this sea just to say in the picture it looks beautiful but you just don't feel the same as it used to be and I'm not environmentalist however it does feel and look dirty when you come out and see all these masks and maskers and people with masks and also masks all around the beach and it's funny because you find usually they're the ones they're the ones they're actually promoting or the activists or environmental activists they're promoting the environmental green green and all those kind of things and yet they're the ones hurting and damaging the environment I'm not going into that that wasn't the point of making this video my heart is burdened with this passion for these people for my own countrymen and when we talk about burden usually Christians if, if you're not a Christian you might think it differently but in a in the Christian world when someone says I'm burdened we usually talk about a spiritual weight on our hearts and I feel the same feel burdened to pray and intercede for at least my own people and I would like you to do the same wherever you are if you're going to a church if you're not going to any church if you if you are a member of any church or partnering with any church or you're not or you're with this fellowship because some churches do that I want you to, to do this and just like Nehemiah Nehemiah was burdened for his own people for Jewish people and he made himself available of course God knew the problems they had the troubles Jewish people were facing and the concerns the walls of Jerusalem were crumbling and they were troubled but this one person now when I say that one person it just shakes my voice and 
it, it, it just troubles me more because I am thinking, who am I? I am not. Anyway, I would like to make myself available, just as Nehemiah did. Nehemiah, he made himself available as a conduit for God to use. And he interceded for his people. And made it clear the needs of his people to the king of Persia at the time. And they um, got the help they wanted. If you don't intercede for your politicians, for your people, for your own family, and then just sit there or go to church, churches that have really hurt me during these last couple of years, especially those who complied with evil rules and evil laws of their own governments. And it's funny because they bring their own verses as well. We have to follow the laws of the land and this is in the scripture. I've talked about this in another live session I had and in other videos that all the, the authorities, the kingdoms and all the powers are established by God. But Jesus also picked those 12 disciples and he said, I have chosen you. Have I not chosen you, the 12? But one of you is the devil. So God chooses and establishes um, kingdoms, powers, rulers, presidents. We might or might not like them, but God has established them. But for his purpose, and he knows they're evil, and he knows the evil plans. Nehemiah was burdened. God knew their troubles. God didn't need that one person's prayer to change things, to bring him help. But it was for Nehemiah's sake that he made himself available for God to use. And make this video as a challenge for you. I want to challenge you. Will you make yourself available for God to use? He, Nehemiah, set aside his fears. Will you set aside your fears? Will your church set aside their fears and make themselves available for God to use? We are at a critical point in the world where we need to do something if we don't act, if we are complacent and we act out of pride, out of complacency or don't act at all, the evil will win and it might be too late for us to do anything. This is the time. Put aside your fears. Don't be frightened of virus or viruses. Turn off, if you're in Britain, turn off BBC. Don't watch it and all its variants. They're the most dangerous variants around. BBC and all its channels and variants, ITV 1, 2, 3. If you're in other countries, you must know your own channels, your own evil channels, mainstream media, shut them off, boycott them. That is my call for you to do. My call is a call for prayer and boycotting the media that is from the devil, the devil's media. That is getting into your brains and brainwashing people, your children vulnerable people. Jesus wasn't scared of the lepers. He, 
he healed them. Are you scared of people in your congregation? You don't shake hands with them, you don't hug them anymore. Put aside your fears, have faith in God. I would like to pray, I pray for you, I pray for my people and my country, you pray for your own country. Let's do this together. Let's get together again as a body of Christ, as a true body of Christ. Not those local churches that they talk the talk, but when it comes to walking the walk, they don't do it. Let's pray together. Father, I come in your presence in the Spirit by the power of your Holy Spirit and through the blood of Jesus Christ anoint me, wash me and cleanse me with the blood of Jesus Christ let me enter the Holy of Holies in the Spirit and let me be heard hear my words, O Lord hear my cry for my country for my people, for my family and heal this land I intercede on behalf of my own family, my own people, my countrymen. Forgive us, forgive our sins, forgive our transgressions, which are many. Wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ and accept us before your throne. And hear our cries for mercy. Have mercy on us and our land. Heal us and heal our land. In Jesus' name. Protect us from all the evil schemes of Satan, from all the evil schemes of evil politicians and evildoers in power. Whoever they may be on the scene or behind the scenes, protect us from them. Bring down the strongholds of Satan in Jesus' name. I commission angels to bring down demons who are in charge of the uh, control and powers of this country. Financial establishments, industries, work environments, societies. Bring down all the evil that are in power and in position that are controlling their societies in Jesus' name, O oh Lord. And rise up to the high places, to the power positions, your people, godly people. To turn around and bring justice in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Lord that we still have our health thank you that you've kept us healthy O oh Lord and thank you that we still have a little bit of freedom do not take our freedoms away O oh Lord do not let the devil take our freedoms away expose them O oh Lord expose all their evil plans expose all their evil plans and let them be known to all people, even to those who are on the borderline, who are still believing and trusting the system. Let them be known even to them. I ask you to cover me and my family and my people, your people, O oh Lord, godly people, to protect them. I ask you that you may protect them all wash them with the blood of Jesus Christ, set a hedge of protection over us and all your godly people, righteous people in this land and protect them from all restrictions and let them have freedom, protect them from all their evil plans, let them uh, not lose a single blessing you've given them and let them be protected with your spiritual protection over their, over their health, over their finances, over their possessions, over everything they have and everyone that belongs to them. Protect them in Jesus' name and protect all your people. Like Abraham prayed for the land of Lot. Even if there are five people, O oh Lord, ten people, O oh Lord, righteous in this land, for the sake of those people, O oh Lord, save and spare us from your wrath protect us from all evil and evil doers and all their evil schemes in Jesus name and bless us 
not only protect us and give us freedom, but also bless us and multiply and enable us to multiply the blessings you've given us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Once again, I challenge you to make yourself available for God to use in your area, in Jesus' name. See you again. Goodbye.